for a while I was that guy who, who had on his wall in his bedroom, you know, everything that I wanted to do. Anybody here do that? Anybody do that? Which, when I was in college, that was great. And when I was just out of college, that was great for me. Then as I got older and I became, you know, more of, the, more of an adult, you want to have a life. You know, you want to, you want, like, I began, I began looking at sport as it was work. It was my work. Not the work in the sense that I have to go sit at a desk and I hate life kind of thing, but like I enjoyed it, it was fruitful, but it was still a place of work. So when I got home, I didn't want to have to bring my work home. So I wanted taking that off my wall. But that being said, I had already ingrained all the habits that were the reason for me doing that. So you have those things on your wall, so you remember, right? So that reminds you to eat better, to drink less, to sleep more, to do those things you're supposed to do. And it reminds you, once you get those things ingrained, and once, you know, you guys are at the age now where that should start to become habit, like eating right all the time, drinking your water all the time, you know, going out less. But doing what we do is very selfish, in a sense of, let's strip away self, the definition of selfish, which is like doing things on your behalf, actually like putting other people down. Just selfish because like your world revolves around when you eat, when you sleep, when you train, what can I drink, what can't I drink, what can I do, what can't I do. There's a lot of eyes in training. I'm not gonna sugarcoat. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. That's it's a big sacrifice. But you're gonna if you're gonna I always look at it like this. If I, if I'm going to sacrifice, I'm gonna sacrifice. If I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. And there is no other thing that us really stopping. And at the same time, who here thinks of sacrifices? All right. I'm going to come back in a year, and I don't want anybody's hands up. Because if, you're, if you think you're sacrificing at the time, I wasn't sacrificing. I was just doing the things I needed to do to win. I wasn't sacrificing. I look back, and I can look, you can, to me, sacrifice is a past tense thing. I sacrificed. Man, I sacrificed my girlfriend at the time. I sacrificed making money. Um, but at the time, if, if somebody somebody had asked me, like, how do you feel about your sacrifices? Because you get interviewed, you know, you do these interviews and these highly the Olympics. And I would always avoid the subjects. I never felt like I was sacrificing. I loved it. I loved it. the fact that I got to wake up at 7.15 every morning and know that if I ate, if I took off one more yolk and put in one more egg white, I was better. Or if I, if I got to sleep 20 minutes earlier that night, I was better. And that, that's the thing that I miss most. That's the thing that I'm envious of the position you guys are in now. Do you guys still get that? Do you still have that? And I mean, I'm not old and wise, I'm 33 years old. Call me old, but I don't feel old, I don't feel wise, but I do have perspective at the very least. And, uh, and that's one thing, like, take advantage of that, because there's nothing else. Like, when you get past where you are now, like, that's it. You don't get to wake up and feel that anymore. It's gone. If somebody says, I'm sacrificing so much right now, then don't do it. Do what you need to do to succeed, or, or don't. But don't complain to me about sacrifices. But confidence is a myth if you're just letting it build off of the thing you just did. And confidence happens from every day, you know, every day walking in here. You, you stand on the track in the spring and you think about all fall. That's where confidence came from. It didn't come from your, your last track meet. Right? So it's a funny feeling. I, said, I have a video of this and I look back and I smile at it. I said, you know, we do our jobs. So, so it's a really funny feeling to be at the Olympic Games, to be on the stage and know that if and if we push the way we're supposed to push, and he drives the way we're supposed to drive, that, we can, that we'll win. If we, I didn't go and say, we're going to win. I wasn't that guy that sat there and said, we're going to win. He said, if we do our jobs, we win. And if, as long as you, you don't have to think you're going to win, I just think you have to think that if you do your job, you're going to win. There's a subtle difference there. Um, and I think in high school, I mean, Mike, in high school I was, I mean, losing, losing sucks, right? I was afraid to lose in high school. 
again, it, it sounds a little bit higher level, but I was afraid to lose in high school. I was afraid to, to fail in college. And all I wanted to do was win. I feel like that's all I wanted to do. Not losing and, and winning are the same things on paper. But the difference was that I, I wasn't afraid to lose anymore. All I wanted to do was win. And as soon as you stop being afraid to lose, then you can do all those things and you can put yourself in a position to fail, which is also the same position to win. If, you do any, if you're at this level and you're trying to do this and you, and you don't project that you're going to do anything less than exactly what you want, all you're doing is protecting yourself from when it didn't happen. So it doesn't feel so bad. Because it's miserable otherwise. Like, in 2006, it was miserable. I'm not going to share code. I was depressed for like four, five, six months. I was going through the motions of training for quite a while. And I think once I stopped that, I, and I started really, and I started really believing, because that changes everything. That changes everything. And I can't say it enough. And I mean, you guys are at that point where you have, you can go one way or the other. And it doesn't really matter to me. I'd like to see you do well. Train with Mike. I love Mike. I've known him since I was a kid. But, you know, I can't help you. So that's really the, that's really the, you know, the thing that I, that I think really changed in me is that, it, you know, it's not a nugget of do this and win. Like it's not a take this supplement this times this amount of times a day and do this and win because there's not those. I used to think I could go in and talk to people and give them things that would make them win, but that's, those things don't exist. So. Again, I don't claim to be old and wise guys. I don't. But I have four years of Florida and ten years of three Olympics. Um, you know, I look back and I, yeah, I mean, I, I think I, I smile because I didn't understand how impactful the things that I thought were. And you you would probably you would probably hear this from any older athlete and as a, and at 24 I wouldn't have believed myself. So I'll preface it with saying that. So I didn't I didn't understand that I could just decide certain things. And yeah, they wouldn't just happen. But if I decided them and then and then set the wheels in motion that they would actually happen. I didn't get that about getting it done. And I was going to go against guys who were bigger, stronger. It meant more to them because they had more on the line. When you guys are going against, when you guys go against, and as soon as you understand the animals that you're going against, that's when you need to readjust your confidence or readjust your, your mindset of what are they doing today? Did they show up 10 minutes late? They have reasons. But did they show up on time? Did they get their sleep last night? I trained on Thanksgiving Day because it wasn't Thanksgiving in Germany. It was relevant to that. It was Thursday. I mean, it's not Labor Day on Monday in Switzerland. It's Monday. It's training day. I trained on Christmas because I thought they wouldn't be training on Christmas. And that gave me a leg up because I trained on Christmas. Once you guys can get that sickness in your head, and it is a sickness, but it's a wonderful sickness, that's when those next level things start to happen.